alaikum guys, it's Brother Muhammad, Muslims give me back, it's Brother Kashif, it's also give me back. Uh, today is a two part video of something very important that we've been working on. Uh, we're in the prototype phases of it and at the, the purpose of this video is first part we're going to be showing you uh, what is an MRE bag and how we're going to be assembling it and part two of the video will be the actual end user, how they will use the MRE and benefit from it. Can we tell them uh, what MRE stands for? Okay. MRE stands for Meals Ready to Eat. Uh, its uh, primary application was first introduced into the Army. Uh, for soldiers, they would actually drop these MRE bags uh, from the planes down to the soldiers on the field, and it would basically be a complete meal for the soldiers to eat. The scientific application behind it is that it preserves food uh, via food storage applications. Um, when you typically vacuum seal food into special bags, you have a, you make a shelf life of three to five years, and it preserves the freshness of the food. Uh, so we all have a certain attachment or humanitarian moral obligation to help the less fortunate people around the world, uh, such as the Syrian refugees. You have refugees in Burma, uh, even disaster uh, people who are afflicted by disasters like in the Philippines with the typhoon. You have African countries who are suffering from poverty, don't have access to good food. So, inshallah, our application here is going to be uh, very simple. It's to basically provide uh, a very, um, to provide a meal which will be fresh and hot to the person who opens the bag, inshallah. inshallah. <coughs> so, uh, we've been, uh, for several weeks now, uh, me, Kashif, and Brother Manav have been uh, uh, testing and putting together a uh, prototype uh, 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 setup here. Uh, we have here an external uh, vacuum pump just for demo purposes. And we have a sealer over here for demo purposes. Just some, some gauges so we can measure out how much vacuum we're pulling. Uh, once this project is full go, we're going to have some industrial uh, you know, equipment uh, which will basically replace all this stuff. But for the demo, this is going to do inshallah. Uh, let me just go over some of the stuff we have here. We have here a special bag, so poly bag, which, are, which is waterproof. All the contacts of the MRE bag will be inside of this bag. This will be sealed, and inside, uh, inshallah, this will be waterproof. And even after the end users use it, they can use this for other stuff as well. They can put their documents in there or other jewelry or whatever they have, the valuables, and it'll be waterproof, inshallah. Second thing we have here is a Mylar bag. It's a foil type bag. But uh, this is the same type of material that's used in NASA or in space on the on the uh, on the spaceships. And the beautiful thing about this bag, number one, it's very lightweight. Uh, it blocks out light. It uh, also does not allow oxygen and moisture to enter inside the bag. That's correct. These three things put, uh, is what basically ages food and destroys freshness of the food. So once you put the food inside and you vacuum seal it. You have locked the freshness, you evacuate any oxygen and moisture, and this food can be opened up three years from now if they want on the shelf and then eat it, it will be still fresh. At least that's our goal is. And that's what our goal, exactly. <coughs> uh, the other part of the application of this bag is, is that we're, we have these special ration heaters. It's called a flameless ration heater. And what this does is basically it warms the food up like you would in a microwave uh, without having the use of any electricity. Uh, basically the end user will rip this open, pour a little bit of water to fill it to this line down here, and the water will actually uh, cause a chemical reaction inside the bag which will start boiling the water and it will basically heat up the food that's inside this bag. This bag actually will be wrapped around and then for about 5 to 10 minutes it will actually fully cook the food inside and it will be, be very hot. So, want to go over the packaging? Uh, yeah, and we also have here a bottle of water, which will be in the bag. Condiments. We have condiments. We have spoon, fork, napkin, salt, and pepper. We have a little plate so they can eat their food on it. Uh, we have a special thermal uh, bag so they can cook the food in it, and we'll show you how that works. And inshallah, we have this is our label, inshallah, inshallah halal MRE by Muslims Giving Back, which will be fixed on the outside. Just to give you a sample of how the uh, all this material will be packaged into the clear seal, uh, we're going to have a, a food, preferably rice and beans, 
the ration heater on top of the water bottle condiments on the plate. Once you put it on it, and yeah, you put it inside the bag. Put that, that, put it, uh, put it. The heater. All this will be put into the bag and sealed. So, you show what we're going to do is, we're going to actually go ahead and actually make one bag right now for you. This is part one of the video. So, here we go. So first things first is we are going to, Kashi, why don't you, uh, that's, uh, we have the rice and beans pre cooked here by, by my wife, Alhamdulillah, Allah bless her. Uh, she put some rice and beans for us today. Uh, the food will be uh, basically at room temperature. And uh, so this way we can actually avoid any moisture going inside. Okay. Okay, we're going to load up the food. bag is filled this much, just about halfway. Gosh, if you want to come here, I'll get the pump ready. Yeah. So what we're going to do now is basically, we're going to actually be vacuum sealing, vacuuming this uh, bag and then sealing it. Our seal time on the pump is six seconds. I'm going to increase that to seven seconds so we can get a very nice strong seal. And here we go. Goggles on. And uh, yeah. Safety is always first. Okay. Tell me when you're ready. Okay. So let's get the bag packed on here first. Okay. There we go. So we're gonna go ahead and close this, lock it. Lock. Okay. And I'll pull it back with you. Okay. And here we go. calories. We will also be putting the date that this was packaged on and the uh, the expire date which is inshallah will be three years from the date it was packaged. Uh, it can last more than that but for safety reasons we're going to keep it at three years and uh, also our website and email address for contact inshallah. Okay so now we're going to go ahead and uh, hold on. Let's get this like this. Alright, we got the ration heater. Don't put that one on top. Yeah, it should go on top. It will, it will, it will, yeah, this is going to go on the plate. All this is going to go on the plate. So take that off. This is going to go on the plate. There we go, like that. Okay. We're going to put this in the bag first. And then the water bottle. The water bottle is going to go in the last. Right. Thank you. 
the water is going in. And we're going to go ahead and vacuum seal this. Now, when we're sealing the, uh, the poly bag, there's no need for vacuum, it's just to seal it. So we won't be running the vacuum. sealed. So, alhamdulillah, this is our first bag. So we have here, Muslims giving back. Okay. You can see all the content of them. This itself is uh, waterproof. We can dip this in waterproof light. This, it's sealed. So, inshallah, uh, we're going to move on to part two of this video. Right. Take out the water. Uh, imagine there's instruction right in front of me on looking at the graphics. Uh, currently there are instructions on the ration heater to use this. It's in English, French, uh, Dutch, and Spanish. Uh, inshallah, I'm working on with the manufacturer if they can do it for us in Arabic, inshallah. So, or we can actually we'll work on printing them out and putting in the bag. So basically six uh, components of this package came out of it. You have the heater, you have the uh, package which we, you're going to heat the food in, the actual food, the condiments, the water, and the plate. So what I'm going to first do is open up this, the ration heater, and I'm going to add water to it as per instructions, okay. up to the... Uh, There's a line at the bottom. Line on the bottom, so you can, it's very easy to follow the instructions. And the rest is for the person to drink as well. So, all right. So this thing starts to heat up real quick. So what we're going to do is, you take your food in the mylar bag. You're going to put place it in here, and you're going to basically just wrap it. Wrap it like so, and then you're going to put it in the bag. and fold it. And we're going to leave this here in a semi-upright position. And that's going to stay there for about 5 to 10 minutes. And that's actually going to fully cook the food and heat it up as well. The food can be eaten without even heating it up because the food is already cooked. But uh, as the famous hadith narration goes, that you know, one for your brother, what you want for yourself. We all like to have a nice hot meal, so this is what we're providing for our brothers and sisters worldwide. So, so once uh, the food is prepared, you, you know, you can take that out of the Mylar bag, and you open that, and you put it in, it's ready to go, condiments are here, and extra water is there. So, inshallah, they can enjoy a healthy, nutritious uh, meal. Uh, it's approximately 800 calories, uh, loaded with uh, carbohydrates and protein. That's right. So this way, it's, a, it, it's something they can keep them going, inshallah. Until the, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, bestows His mercy upon all the people and fixes the situation worldwide. As, so, as, as uh, Brother Muhammad is speaking, this is already simmering hot. Um, you can you can feel you can feel the yeah. You can see it it's starting to blow up a little bit, and it's it's really really getting hot, as he said. And alhamdulillah, the next transmission will be in a few minutes after this food is cooked, and uh, me and Brother Kash will be enjoying some fresh hot food. Okay, Asalaamu Alaikum, we're back. Our food is fully cooked. And once it's fully cooked, you can actually just discard the ration eater right to the garbage. No need to, you know, dispose of it in a special way. So Kashif is a bit hungry, as well as, a, as well as I am. So we're gonna go ahead and take our meal out. How does it feel, is it nice and hot? It's nice and hot, and it looks like ration eater is still on, so you can still go on if you really want to. 
So that's the ration heater. You just throw it away. Um, the actual food is here. And we're gonna try to cut it open from the seal. Uh, you could just like bag it check, you could just open it right from the side. And it comes right off from the seal. It's very easy. So no struggle is required in this. Now you can actually eat right from the bag if you if they wish. But uh, we provided them a plate along with the packaging where the label is on. And wow, it's nice and hot. I got the condiments. And there's some salt and pepper as well if they wish to add. A knife is given. Napkin, salt and pepper. Yeah, salt and pepper. All right. Well, food looks uh, nice and warm. As a matter of fact, the steam you is just, coming out. You can out. see the steam coming out of it, so it's nice and hot. So, right. bon appétit. Right. Bismillah. Bismillah wa ala barakatullah. I love my wife's cooking, by the way. Oh, it's good. I'm done though. This is real good. Basmati rice and lentils. Always works. And um, there's some water. And that's it. So, this ration heater will get uh, disposed of and ready right to regular garbage. Uh, the thermal bag and the the mylar bags and the, and the poly bags that they have, they can reuse them for other things because uh, they're the main thing, they're waterproof and uh, the you mylar bags is light proof. Yeah, you can just wash this off with the water Yeah, and it's, uh, it could be used for any other things. They want to preserve fruits or anything else. Yeah. Um, same thing with this one, you can reuse it um, if, to store food or um, to, you know, Heated up uh, material can go inside and stay heated for a long time. Yeah. So, inshallah, we hope you guys like the demo. And uh, if all goes well, Allah willing. Inshallah. Uh, this, uh, we're going to fi actually finish making a couple more bags to sh uh, so we can actually uh, show this to other people. And inshallah, this is, will go, go a long way and will actually make a difference helping people in Syria, Burma. Uh, uh, Ethiopia, Somalia, Philippines, so on and so forth, anywhere there's people who are struck with a calamity, inshallah, we'll be able to help them with uh, big organizations who are authorized to work on the ground, inshallah. So, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.